Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's the Eradicator and today we are going to talk about Forza Horizon 5 because the map of Forza Horizon 5 was unveiled and uh, well it looks interesting but I don't know, it's just something that feels a little bit off to me and that's what we'll be talking about. We're also talking about the different biomes that we'll get to encounter in this map. First, if you were wondering, yes, Forza Horizon 5's map is bigger than its predecessor. It's about 50% larger than Forza Horizon 4's UK map, which is split between Northern England and Southern Scotland. Whereas this one is going to be a mix of... Uh, oh my goodness, my microphone just fell. But this one is going to be a mix of, um, of Western and Eastern Mexico at the same time and it's also going to <laughs> it's a mix of everything in Mexico basically which is uh, what makes it interesting and we're going to talk about the 11 biomes later but there's one thing that strikes me here is that it's one of the uh, grids that I had with the map in Forza Horizon 4 is that I thought that the map was a little bit generic with not a lot of long straights and uh, lots of uh, just random turns and 90 degree angles it just it just didn't feel very natural very often to be uh, driving in those roads and you just had one major big city in that case which was Edinburgh and just a couple of uh, little towns around and it seems like unfortunately this is going to be the case at that map which is even bigger here but only one big city in Mexico which is going to be uh, the city of uh, Guanajuato I hope that I said it correctly because I don't speak Spanish but if you speak Spanish please let me know in the comment section down below if I said it correctly and so when I looked at when you look at, at Google Maps at the map of Guanajuato you can see that uh, it is very interesting because it's located in the Heights and uh, there are quite a few uh, major highways around around the Guanajuato including a lot of tunnels and I thought that this could have been a great opportunity for players to be uh, driving uh, on these highways because highways are always great if you want to be hitting you know top speed especially when you're driving those supercars that can drive at you know 300 400 even some 500 kilometers per hour for some of the craziest ones right you really want those highways with very long straight lines in order to be feeling that power and one of the grids that I had in the previous map was that well the, uh, the only express Raceway or motorway that was in Forza Horizon 4 was just way too short. And it just, you know, you just had a little bit of time to enjoy your speed at 400 kilometers per hour, and then that was basically it. So, if uh, considering the fact that there are a couple of motorways around Guanajuato here, I was thinking that there would be a more than one, but there's only one big one here that doesn't even co come close to the city, unfortunately, that crosses the map from east to west or west to east. And uh, well, sure, it's going to allow players to uh, to uh, enjoy some of the 11 biomes much quicker but at the same time I just wish that they had been a little bit more apart from that well uh, my only my other problem is that I, I'm just afraid that it's going to be it's going to feel too quick to go from one biome to another that's the, that's the only uh, the only thing that I'm worried about you just you know at some point you're gonna be in a lush forest and then five minutes after that you're gonna be in farmland and then five minutes after that you're gonna be in the desert right that's going to be a, a little bit weird I think and I just wish that maybe they had kept to uh, less biomes but at the same time the transition would take a little bit longer but probably I'm, I'm nitpicking here anyway speaking of the biomes what are we talking about uh, in Forza Horizon 5 well uh, looks like the first one that we are going to be uh, talking about is going to be the canyons here and those canyons are also uh, of course iconic to Mexico you're gonna be uh, especially I think if we look at the the map they're probably looking going to be uh, located the, down the south of the of, of the map which where which is where it looks like you have some some rapids and waterfalls and really exciting uh, really exciting forests and and rivers there with a lot of off-roading as well so I think that this is where we should be expecting those canyons next we have the tropical coast and uh, there's going to be probably two of them around there. There's uh, probably going to be a little bit 
on the eastern side, uh, which is uh, sorry, uh, is, uh, which is going to be the Gulf of Mexico, and there's going to be also some of that on the western side as well, which is where that main river is going into the ocean. There's some kind of, of river mouth as well, but it looks like this part is going to be a little bit more arid. Also, by the looks of the map, it looks like the color of the water is also not going to be the same, so it's going to be uh, making some differences there for sure. Next, you have some farlands there. They say that apparently it's going to be uh, filled with lush, lush vegetations and lots of uh, fruit-bearing trees and some small rivers, obviously, right? And, uh, well, this is looks like to be uh, located around the center of uh, the map is going to actually make most of the map uh, ranging from the north to south the area around the Guanajuato is definitely going to be surrounded by those farms as well and uh, it, there are lots of you know you would expect to have uh, straight roads but unfortunately you have a lot of those generic winding roads here that I I don't know, that just, uh, I got a bad feeling about these, that's what I was, because uh, I, I wasn't really satisfied with them in Forza Horizon 4, so we'll see how they go. Anyway, next we have the Arid Hills, the Arab, I mean, when you think of Mexico, this is definitely what you are think what, what we're thinking of, right? And I believe that these Arid Hills are going to be located around the, the Grand Volcano, that is, uh, that is basically, uh, <laughs> that is basically taking most of the northwestern side of the map and definitely looks like this place is more arid with less roads a lot of off-road uh, capabilities as well so that's what we'll be looking at here uh, we are going to have jungles too definitely more towards the south of the country and probably uh, near what uh, near the the canyons that will be able to be uh, found as well that definitely makes sense maybe uh, this is also where we'll be having a look at some of the uh, Aztec temples here that you should expect to be seeing uh, there's another biome here called the living desert and that's where you're going to be finding a lot of uh, cacti and uh, <laughs> sand cacti uh, small plants oasis as well it's definitely going to be quite a change compared to horizon 4 and uh, it's going to be uh, one of those uh, areas going to make uh, a lot of dust it's going to be very interesting to be racing there rocky rocky coast a rocky coast which is uh, probably not going to be located too much uh, near the the eastern side which is where you know, the gulf of mexico but probably the kind of coastline you would find on the western side near the dunes as well there's got sand desert as well obviously and this is going to be northernmost here of the rocky coast uh, where you have uh, uh, not just sanders but a lot of dunes as well and it's going to be uh, going all the way to the sea it's definitely going to be absolutely gorgeous driving there and a wonderful playground for suvs swamps here swamps probably going to be uh, near the jungles as well probably you should expect the swamps to be a little bit closer perhaps to the to the coastline as uh, these usually you know our area is located with mangroves so you should be expecting then uh, far less uh, far less uh, higher in altitude and closer to maybe uh, Riviera Maya or the other uh, river mouth on the other side next of course the urban city of Guanajuato uh, and uh, this is going to be uh, the main uh, urban area of Forza Horizon 4 just like Edinburgh was the main uh, urban area of Forza Horizon 4, sorry, Forza Horizon 5. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I messed it up completely. It's all right. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, guys. Anyway, uh, here the devs have really uh, explained that they want to give this authentic Mexican feeling. Gonna have lots of old streets where some of them will be paved, old buildings, everything will be very colorful and as authentic as possible. And uh, as somebody who has never been to Mexico but would love to one day, if gets a little bit safer perhaps then uh, I guess it would be a great opportunity to uh, have some escapism out there and uh, enjoy the vibes of Mexico and last but not least it's going to be the only place on the map where you are going to have snow right it wouldn't be a Forza Horizon with uh, without snow now the big problem uh, that, that they're going they want to face here that they are facing is that in Forza Horizon 4 it was possible to have four distinct seasons in uh, Forza Horizon 5 in Mexico where you're not going to have uh, chilling winters where the temperatures are going to go below zero degrees right so the only place where it's going to be possible will be 
on the top of that volcano where which is going to be the only place where snowfalls are going to be uh, happening and that's definitely where you'll be able to experience the most the four seasons of the game and it's also going to be the highest in terms of altitude the highest uh, the highest area ever made on a Forza Horizon game which is going to also promise some really beautiful vistas from there as well and that's pretty much everything that we can say here from the map of Forza Horizon again guys you can be sure that I will be testing it on this channel and you are going to see a lot of playthroughs as well I can promise you that but let me know in the comment section down below guys uh, did you, are you a fan of the Forza Horizon series as far as I'm concerned I prefer the Tesla Unlimited uh, series, but um, I kind of like as well, you know, the the recreation of all of those uh, areas like Australia, uh, Britain, and now Mexico. It's always interesting, and uh, I mean, it, it's it's when you play for a long time, it stops being that believable. But the first time you get there, it's always very awesome and awe inspiring for sure. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like, the, the like button if uh, you like this content. I'll see you guys for more content on the channel later. This is The Eradicator. Have a great day. Cheers. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts as just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching. This is The Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.